Hey everyone, it has been ages since my last video, so I thought I'd quickly jump on camera just to let you know that I'm actually a real person and I'm still alive <laughs> and well. So much has happened um, in my life over the last year or so. I'm not even going to go into it, but I will just say that I'm still here, I'm still doing YouTube videos and in this week's video I'm going to share with you six foods that can help improve your memory. The best way to improve or keep your memory intact is by fixing your diet. If you're having memory problems, chances are your diet is either lacking in essential nutrients or you're overwhelming your body with unwanted chemicals or excessive calories. Like it or not, most health issues are directly correlated to what we eat and drink and what we don't. Improve your memory with these six foods. Number one, omega-3 fatty acids. Firstly, salmon, tuna, herring, and other fatty fish are high in omega-3 fatty acids that are essential for brain growth and development. Nuts, seeds, and plant oils are also excellent sources. Omega-3 fatty acids help improve memory by improving and supporting neurons and building cell membranes. The anti-inflammatory effects and antioxidants found in omega-3s are said to be responsible for healthier brain cells, which in turn help memory. Number 2. Blueberries Secondly, blueberries, cranberries and blackberries are high in antioxidants that prevent inflammation and oxidative stress that can impair memory. There is also evidence that suggests that natural polyphenols found in blueberries are directly associated with improving memory and learning abilities while also reversing age-related memory decline. On my blog, I have a related post called 20 ways to boost your immune system. I will put a link to that in the description below. Number three, avocados. Thirdly, avocados are a healthy source of healthy fats, antioxidants, vitamin E and vitamin C. All these nutrients help lower the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Avocados also contain mono non-saturated fatty acids that protect astrocytes, glial cells that are responsible for sending and receiving messages to the brain and nervous system. Number four broccoli. Fourthly, broccoli and other dark green veggies like kale, spinach and collard greens are a significant source of vitamin E and folate. Scientists believe these properties work together to reduce homocysteine levels in the blood to prevent the death of brain nerve cells. Number five, sunflower and pumpkin seeds. Next are sunflower and pumpkin seeds. These seeds contain magnesium, iron, zinc, copper, and powerful antioxidants that help fight against the damage from free radicals. Free radicals are substances that are unstable atoms that can cause damage to cells by breaking them down over time. Free radicals can come from processed or fried foods, drugs and alcohol, smoke 
and exposure to pesticides and other toxic chemicals. I have a related blog post called Nine Steps to Nurturing Your Body and I will put a link to it in the description below. Number six, eggs. Lastly are eggs. Vitamin B, B12, folate and chlorine are all properties that eggs provide that help fight against memory loss. Vitamin B, B12 and folate are known to slow down mental progression while chlorine helps create neurotransmitters that help regulate memory and mood. Summing up. In conclusion, investigate and study your current diet and see where you need to improve. As you can see, foods high in antioxidants such as berries and leafy greens are important for brain health. Diets high in sugar, processed or fried foods, um, you're likely exposing your brain to free radicals that are destroying your memory. So add these six foods to your diet, eliminate foods introducing free radicals and within a few weeks you will notice the difference. A book that I would recommend on this subject is Eat Beautiful by Wendy Rowe. It's great, it has helpful information on maintaining a healthy lifestyle but it also has some really tasty recipes that you can implement into your day-to-day -day life. So those are my tips for this week. Do you agree with them? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you guys in the next video.